John had no idea the risk he was walking into. Trying to approach a trapped animal is never easy, let alone a trapped predator. The wolf did not appreciate the human inching toward it. Vehemently, it raged against the trap holding it back, trying desperately to back away from the human. But John was determined. He had to reach the wolf. But when he finally got close enough to the animal, he did something completely uncharacteristic. John Owens was a typical outdoorsy kind of guy. He enjoyed nature and spending time out in the wild. He knew his way around the forest better than most, but no time spent outdoors would prepare him for one encounter made in the wild. John had volunteered to help catch and relocate coyotes who were causing a problem within the area, but John also had a hobby not many people agreed with. John was a hunter. He had competed in many various contests throughout the years. Though people did not support this, it did prepare him for the coyote project. However, one day John came across no animal he had ever encountered before. Stuck in a snare was a timber wolf. John knew he had to do something quickly. He was used to dealing with smaller coyotes in the area, until that day arrived. Recently, the Wisconsin area began to suffer from an overflux of coyotes. The animals would prey on surrounding livestock and domesticated animals alike. As such, John decided to act on the situation. Before the coyotes became too big a problem, he would correct it. He and a few companions volunteered to capture and re-release the pests. However, one day their trap snared something larger than they had bargained for. One day, John saw something he had not anticipated to find. When he wandered out, sighting the various traps, he saw something odd. In one coyote trap lay a lone wolf. The animal appeared to be a timber wolf. Though the timber wolf is the smallest of the breed, it still appeared gigantic to John. However, he knew exactly what he needed to do. With his gun by his side, he proceeded towards the animal. Ironically enough, even though the animal was snared, it seemed to be completely calm. It lay completely still in the grass, as though it had just stopped for a breather. However, the heavy breathing of the wolf indicated distress. Suddenly, the calm demeanor changed when John approached. The wolf became feral. It was as though it sensed John was a trapper. John knew he needed help, but when he reached out, the wolf grew more treacherous. Not too long after his call, two of his companions arrived on the scene. However, the two men were also heavily armed. This caused the wolf to react even more pugnaciously than before. John knew he could not face the animal in this condition. Furthermore, this temperamental behavior wouldn't let him achieve what he intended to do with the wolf. Suddenly, John saw something that would solve all of their issues. Lying blatantly in the woods was a sparse piece of plywood. Why someone had decided to dump it there, nobody knew, but John could not be more grateful at that moment for the spare timber. Quickly, he picked up the board. He intended to use it as a shield to approach the trapped animal. But the wolf didn't take kindly to this approach. As soon as the wolf saw John hold up the board, he began to go nuts. For some reason, the animal viewed the material as a real threat. Still, John attempted to approach. His friends stood close by, guns at the ready. But this just distressed the animal further. It had no idea what John's intentions were. However, the wolf had an angle of its own, and soon the hunter became the hunted. As John closed in on the wolf, the animal began to react badly. It was certainly not okay with the human being so close to it. Furthermore, no one knew what John's plan was when he finally reached the wolf. But if they did, his friends would have stopped him immediately. But still, he approached the animal ever so cautiously. He knew he had one chance to get close enough. And when he finally did, things took a turn in the opposite direction. As John approached the animal, he waited considerably between moves until he was close enough to touch the wolf's trapped foot. He placed the board between himself and the wolf. On doing this, the wolf desperately tried to back up. Scared the animal would hurt itself, John stopped in his tracks. Slowly, the wolf became more at ease. Then John did something remarkable. He released the wolf from its trap. Then suddenly, the wolf launched. As soon as John had released its paw from the trap, the wolf bounded away furiously. John fell back in a state of sheer relief. A wave of adrenaline washed over his body at the thought of what could have been, but he feared for the animal's well-being. 
Remarkably, the wolf seemed to be perfectly fine. John observed the magnificent creature for a while. As it took to the woods, John looked for any telltale signs of distress. However, it appeared that the wolf was completely unharmed. This left John in an even deeper state of relief. He felt relieved that the animal would easily be able to rejoin its pack. But something unexpected happened when John shared his story on social media. The whole time, John had been filming his encounter with the animal. He had captured every moment he had spent with the wolf, from stumbling across the trapped creature to its majestic release. But when he shared the video to YouTube, he was met with a resounding following. Quickly, his video began to gain views. To this day, it has amassed 6 million views. But what became of the mountain man? The experience really had changed John. He was overwhelmed with how he had helped the animal in distress. He now plans on motivating people to do the same. His video is still being viewed to this day. Hopefully, other hunters will learn from his kindness. John will forever remain the outdoorsman he always was, but now he will do so in a more conscious manner going forward.